Would you like to have live updating POTUS spots on your Linux desktop? Well, let me show you how easy that is. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, before we jump over to the computer, a couple of things here. First, I want to give credit to Jerry, WF5W. He wrote a script similar to this that uh, was using YAD to give you the updates for the latest POTUS spots. I just modified his script to make it uh, display all of that on our desktop with Conky. So a big shout out to Jerry for his original work on this script. Now, a couple of caveats before we start. Uh, for, in order for this script to run correctly, you're going to need Conky already installed on your Linux system and you will need JQ installed. Now, if you've already got that display going on on the right-hand side of your screen, either with 7.3 Linux or Build-A-Pi, well, you've got Conky installed. And if you have J, uh, I'm sorry, if you have Pat Menu installed, then you already have JQ installed as well. However, if you get an error with the script, it will tell you how to solve that error. So you'll either need to install Conky or you'll need to install JQ. This script should run perfectly fine on both the Raspberry Pis and the x86 platforms. And as far as I know, I've only tested it under Mint, but it should work equally as well under Ubuntu as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and see how to get this up and running. So the first thing we need to do to get this installed is to download the script itself. To do so, you want to navigate to github.com forward slash km4ack. Once you get to this screen, we're looking for this PyScripts repository. So let's go ahead and click on it and give it just a couple of seconds to load. Once that page loads, let's go ahead and start scrolling down the page until we see this script right here, poda-spots. Let's go ahead and click on that to go into that particular script. And this next piece is absolutely critical to get this to work correctly. You need to click on the raw button right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, wait for the next page to load up. Once it does, let's go to the address bar and let's highlight that entire address. Press Control C on your keyboard to copy that address. And then let's go ahead and open up the terminal window. Once we're in the terminal window, let's move to our downloads directory with CD space downloads. And guys, don't uh, forget that the D in downloads is capital. Once we get into there, let's run the wget command. So wget space and let's right click and paste that address that we copied just a second ago. Go ahead and press return and it will take just a second or two to get that information downloaded. Now that we've got that downloaded, we can go ahead and run bash space poda hyphen spots space install. Let's go ahead and press return and it's going to ask you how often you want to check for new spots. Every five to 15 minutes is a good interval I'll usually choose 10 minutes, but I will show you guys how to update this in just a minute after we get it installed. Let's go ahead and enter 10 here and press return. It'll take it just a couple of seconds to get everything done, and you'll notice it's already processing 31 different records. Now, in order to get everything to uh, come back online the way it's supposed to, we do need to reboot the machine here. So I'll go ahead and reboot this and be back with you guys in just a second. Once the machine reboots, you will see that we now have POTA spots right up here in the center of the desktop. Now we don't have any spots actually listed below that just yet. That's going to take several minutes. In fact, it depends on how many minutes you chose to check for new spots. It can take up to that time before the first uh, round of spots loads. However, we can go ahead and expedite that process. I'm going to open the terminal window again and just run poda-spots. We'll let that go ahead and download and process those records. And then it shouldn't take but about 60 seconds or so 
in order for the spots to show up on our desktop. After about 60 seconds has passed, you will see that I now have those spots listed there on my desktop. Now, notice that I'm only seeing the single sideband spots on my desktop currently. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that in just a second to suit your particular preference. First, let's go ahead and open back up the terminal window, and I'm going to clear that window out. Next, I'm going to run crontab space hyphen E. Go ahead and press return. This will allow you to edit uh, any cron jobs that you have set up on your particular computer. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom where we will find these two lines of code. So you'll see the get poda spots for conky poda. That's just a comment. The next line down is the one where we can change the interval of how often our system is checking for new spots. If you'll notice in this particular case, mine is checking every 10 minutes for new spots. Let's go ahead and change that to be every five minutes. Notice that I have a space between the five and the first star. If we press Control S and then Control X, we will get out of that and now the system would be checking for new POTA spots every five minutes and that just runs in the background for us. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can configure some of this data here that's on our desktop. Let's go ahead and open up a file explorer and if you're not seeing this file right here, .conkyrc poda uh, let me show you guys how to make that happen. What you'll need to do is you'll need to right click in a blank area here and then go ahead and click show hidden files because this is a hidden file. Once you find that .conkyrc hyphen poda file, we can right click on that and choose text editor. Once the text editor opens up, what we're looking for is these last couple of lines down here near the very bottom. The first line is in a 30-point font. You'll notice the font is Arial. The color is white. Its alignment is Align C, which is aligned to the center of the screen. And then the words here are POTA spots. You can change that any way you see fit to suit your particular preferences. The next line down is the one that really gives us all of the data. That's this line here. Now, you'll notice again that font is Arial, and the size that I have running on mine right now is a 12-point font. The color is white, and then it is going to execute this command here every 60 seconds. That every 60 seconds is indicated right there by the 60. And what it's looking for right now is any single sideband contacts. Now let's assume that you just wanted to look for CW or maybe FT8 activations that are going on at the current time. I'm going to change that SSB to read CW. As soon as I press Control S to save this file, and I'm going to actually move this down a little bit, and I want to get this other thing out of the way so you can see those POTUS spots in the background. I'm going back to the .conkyrc hyphen POTA file, making it active, and now I'm going to press Control S. As soon as I press that Control S, you'll see that it reloads, and now I'm only seeing CW activations. The same thing will occur if we change this CW to be FT8. So I've changed it right down here to be FT8. Let's go ahead and press Control S to save that file. And you'll see that now we are only seeing FT8 activations. Now, maybe you prefer to see all activations and you don't want to filter by a specific mode. We can do that as well. Right down here in our Conky RC file, we're going to take this grep FT8. We're going to take that completely out. And now we're going to run the cat command in its place. So we'll just replace that grep and whatever else was beside it by CAT. Let's go ahead and press Control S here. And now you will see, let me move that out of the way. Now you can see that we're seeing all of the current activations regardless of the mode. So the first one there is FT8, the next one down is CW, and the one below that is single sideband at this particular moment. 
Now, let me show you guys one other thing that could be helpful. If you change your font size right here to something larger than 12, it may run off the bottom of the screen. In order to fix that, you need to look at this last number over here. Uh, that command head space hyphen 39. Right now, my the way I've got mine configured, it will show 39 spots on the desktop. If you made your uh, font size a bit smaller to say 10 point font, you might could fit a few more on the desktop before it ran off the bottom. If you make your font size a little larger, well, then you're going to need to reduce that 39. You might not be able to fit quite as many on your desktops. So you're going to have to find what works best in your particular instance. Now, one last thing I want to show you guys before we wrap this up today is how easy it is to uninstall this script as well. If we just go to the terminal and we type poda hyphen spots space uninstall and press return, it will completely eliminate this script from your system. Uh, it will require a reboot once you're done to uh, completely flush all of the data out of, uh, out of the memory, but uh, just running this simple command followed by a reboot will get it completely gone from your system. Guys, if you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3.